Hey guys, Philip Monaghan here. We're on another 2023 39 Front Runner. Like I said before, we purpose built these boats for these customers, and this boat has some features that Nick Carullo wanted to try and add, um, some innovation that we feel uh, is helpful to, to the way he fishes. When I tell you about we build these, we're building these boats specific, Nick wanted a tower on the boat, which this tower is built by Darkwater Customs in Jacksonville, Florida. When we build the decks for these boats, we build them with the idea that it's going to be holding a huge gap tower. So the composite structure in this deck is different than say a standard boat that just gets a hard top. It's got Kusa in it, it's got aqua steel in it. So when this tower gets bolted down, it goes all the way down to the deck and it's fastened to the deck properly. Another thing that me and Nick tried together was these pitch tubes. You've got a tuna tube and two pitch tubes with an overflow here. Uh, our thought process behind this and so far they've been successful with it was if they're fishing a tournament and say they've got the kites up and they get a fish that they got to go turn on and they're pulling the baits in instead of trying to de-rig that bait and get it back in the lava war or to try to throw the bait in the lava with a line on them they can they can pull up to five or six baits just throw them in these tubes and they keep water over their gills while while they move on the fish and try to get the release quick so it's not you know it's been something that nick's been trying in the last few tournaments it's worked well, very well so far so we're hopefully hoping to see that in the 2023 model boats as well going forward some of the things that nick liked was a little bit more control on the live well so this boat's got a hooker setup in it so nick has three control movements one on the dash which is a knob that controls the 4500 pump how much volume that the wells are getting a second one is off the chest itself has a ball valve so we can kind of control that flow and then another one is we've got an access door here and we can actually control the overflow uh, out the side as well with a little valve that we put in there with a t-handle so it gives them a lot of control one of the comments that nick says is it's just nice not to have to get down in the building get wet and change everything when you've got to make a long run or something like that if they're going to make a run they could dial down the pump a little bit and they can crank that thing open and they can make a run and the live walls will still stay pressurized another feature to this boat is some of the cool release helm chairs and rocket launcher they're a nice touch with the uh, 400s and the teak accents same kind of setup in the console, air conditioning, head, little day bed. And then up front, we added a, a wicked well, more of a factory option than an afterthought. Most people just buy the well, bolt it right to the top of their deck. We like to see boats completed, you know? So when Nick's fishing, this, this pad comes off and this is a Scotty well or a wicked well, some of you guys know. It's a really good system the way Scotty designed it because it's dual gasketed and it's got this built-in drain and it's got its own cavity in here that this water, if it does come through here and into here, can drain overboard so you don't get any water on the forward deck at all. Uh, Nick can run this well totally full and without any issues. And he's also got the same flow control on this well off to the starboard side here of the lounger. So again, really catering these boats to the guys and what they're doing. If it's a family cruiser, or if it's the guys that do 60% cruising, 40% fishing, all the way down to, you know, Nick Rulo himself and the best live bait game you can have in South Florida. Thank you guys for joining us today, looking at our, our two latest 39 front runners. I want to thank uh, all the guys that were involved with the collaboration, Chris Register, Nick Carullo, all the guys at the shop that worked so hard to see this all come to fruition. So if you have any questions, please visit our website at frontrunnerboats.com. Thank you.